this is absolutely darling. So here's the front of it. You can see it's sort of the garage is what you see and then there's an entrance to a little courtyard and the front door is around the side there. We'll go through there. That's the sort of the main street, kind of a neighborhood through a fair. Um, it's 46th. And then this is what the street looks like. Very neat and tidy and orderly. It's, it's really darling. Um, I would, well, I'll call you about this, but I would encourage you to drive through and just get a feel for Awatuki. Um, it appears to be vacant, so, um, you know, even if you wanted to drive up to it, you'd be fine. So, again, here's the front. You have your mailbox right there, which is nice. And you come through, here's this little gated courtyard. And then you come around, and here's the front door. Put a cute little tree there. I'd put an orchid like you have in your backyard now. You've got sort of this entrance patio. Really nice tile. You come in, I will tell you it smells stale. I don't know if it is. It almost smells like musty a little bit or like some sort of pet odor. I think likely it's because it's vacant and a good cleaning would help, but there's definitely a, a an odor here. So, okay, let me give you a, you come through the front door, you saw this closet here. This is an entrance into the family room, which is great space. And then this goes into the kitchen. On this side, you have the kitchen dining area, and then over here, the kitchen itself. So this is like a little tea off of the family room entrance. The kitchen and the family room are not connected as far as being able to like see through and watch TV while you're cooking or anything. They're kind of their own space. This is the garage. Yeah, it smells almost a little bit like, like there's trash in here or sewer or something. It's not horrible. It could just be because it's vacant, um, but it's definitely something I'd want to have you check out. Um, the light, I can't get the light to work, but I think you can see well enough from my video. There's a door outside, some cabinets, and then good two car garage space, and then more cabinets, which is a winner in my book. Probably could update that real quick, although I don't mind it as much as most. This goes really high here. You have some popcorn ceiling, but it's pretty. Um, you have this outside. This makes me wonder if they have AC issues or if they just liked it colder. Um, this is your backyard. Goes around to the back there. Um, that's the side of your neighbor's house. So your side of your house is probably their yard. But you do have this completely enclosed patio. That was a huge tree. Um, this is kind of amazing. All right, so off the family room, those are not my favorite tile choices, although I think you could pretty easily fix that. The floor tiling I really like. So off the family room, you have um, this kind of den. It's got the double doors. And then we go back. This is the guest bath. There's pantry, or I'm sorry, linen closet. That's pretty deep. And then into the master. So that guest room is really the only room off the family room there. Um, we probably want some carpet replaced here. This again goes to the backyard. Let's see how far it goes out. It goes around. I think this is your access back there. I don't think there's another space off of there. Yeah, so this just continues around to this space here. You have green and this orchid pipe is amazing. These are pretty. So this is back at that other side. You have this kind of stoop off of here. I don't know if you're allowed, but adding a pergola or something would be nice. This definitely passes the coffee cup test to me. I'm not seeing any mountains directly from here, but again, being in Arutuki, there's always mountains. So this goes right into the 
master bath. Again, a lot of people, you couldn't really do a barn door. Some people would want to frame in like an arch or a door or something there. Some people are like, whatever, it's fine. The space in here is good. It is a little bit like, okay, I think the only spot your bed really goes is like there because there's a door there. I guess you could do it there, but then that niche is sort of in the way. You just have to kind of figure out where your furniture was going to go because it's like closet, space for a bed there, but then windows, space, the doors take up space. You've got this room here, and then this where I'm standing is connects the square and it's a opening. Um, so you have kind of like his closet right there off of the bathroom. Her closet, which are both yours, is right here. And then into the bathroom. Um, again, the, the finishes are pretty nice. I might replace these this hardware. I don't think Casey's going to allow you to not. feel like there's a little, like, the countertops are nice. I feel like they're a little colder finish than the warm finish of the floors. Um, I don't know that that would be a deal breaker for me. You could warm it up by putting some warmer, like, finished stuff up there. And then you have the step-in shower, which is really nicely done. Yeah, this is pretty darling. 